In 12 months, I finished reading these Bibles. How did I do it? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Joe's Bibles. My name is Joe, and on this channel, I talk about the Bible. I talk about Bibles and do Bible reviews, and I encourage you to read the Bible. Before I go into the how, let me tell you about the why. Why did I read these four Bibles? I have a goal, kind of a weird goal, but my goal is to be able to say to people, to actually specifically to my kids, that this is the number of times I've read the Bible and it's equal to the number of years that I've been a Christian. So for instance, this is my 30th year as a Christian and I want to be able to say I've read the Bible 30 times, but I've only read it 19 times, so you can see I'm pretty far behind. How did I do it? How did I read four Bibles in 12 months? Let me explain to you. It's a little bit complicated, so I don't expect you to follow me all the way through, but let me try to explain it as best I can. So on December 29th of last year, I started reading this. This is the ESV Schuyler Quintel. A few days later, January 1st, I started reading this Bible too. This is the NIV Maxwell Leadership Bible Rebound by SDG Rebinds. So I was at one point reading these two Bibles at the same time. But it got to a point where reading these two Bibles was too much. So I set aside the NIV, I set this one aside, and then I just focused on the ESV for a good four months until I finished this. Now before I finished reading through this Bible, I picked this Bible up. This is the NASB 2020 Large Print Compact. I believe I picked this up and started reading it April 20th while I was reading this Bible, and then just started reading this for about a month. In the meantime, I finished reading this, so I set this one aside. And so then I was just reading this one Bible for about two or three weeks. Then I realized maybe I should pick this back up again, which I did. So I picked this Bible up and it got to a point where reading these two Bibles was too much. So I set this one down and then just focused on this. But then something happened. I realized I need to focus on one translation for about 75 to 80 percent of the things that I do, preaching, teaching, and all of that. I started getting interested in the NASB 2020 again as my main translation. So I picked this guy up. This is the NASB 2020 Premier Collection from Zondervan. So I started reading this one April 25th, and what I did was, while I was reading this, in the morning for my daily devotional, for teaching, for preaching, I was also reading the NIV, which I started reading in January 1st. So these two Bibles I read until they were completed September 18th. So by September 18th, I had finished reading three Bibles. By about October, I said, I, I think I could squeeze in another Bible read through. So I picked this guy back up again. And I read this until November 30th. So I finished reading this one really from April to November. So if you were able to follow all of that, basically I read four Bibles in one year, but I didn't read it like one Bible at a time. I read it in a layered fashion. Why? Because to me, reading the Bible over and over again, it's like God is preaching to me His story, His story of redemption, His story of salvation. And I love that. I love reading the Bible over and over again. I love reading the stories of the Scriptures over and over again because it's like God is preaching to me His story. Let me know how you read the Bible. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, read your Bible.